Hello guys, you're watching Doctor Who, and sorry this video was a late. I normally do it on the day at uh, the day it comes out. I do a review, um, but I couldn't because I was at London and Wales Comic Con, which is awesome. I met so many guests, and I'm going to do a video on it. And the video should come out Thursday. That is my goal to make it come out. Um, so yeah, I met so many guests, but we're not talking about that today. Anyway. Village of the Angels, um, chapter four, I think four, yes, it's four now, um, it was good, however, I, um, I was watching it with someone else, I always watch it on my own, I always watch it on my own, um, I, and they don't like Doctor Who, they don't watch Doctor Who, they don't know much about Doctor Who, and for them to watch this episode, they were like, what a load of waffle, what a load of garbage, they didn't, they would just thought, and I was like, you need to watch the others, you need to know, um, you need to know uh, the story and stuff like that. He's like, I don't want to know. <laughs> so, for a typical viewer aspect, maybe this isn't the best episode for a, 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 a casual viewer, as you would say. But as fans, we love it. We love it. We love it. Um, I enjoyed this one. I thought it was quite good. I've watched it for the second time now. I thought it was cool. Um, obviously, it has some Easter eggs earlier on, like the woman who is actually... The, the the kid when she's older sort of thing there was little things telling the priest count the statues this and that she was warning them which i liked it all tied in and made sense if you watch it the second time out um the weep angels i like that they're lonely assassins they do their thing they take people there's some new elements to this as well if they take you again after the first time you might not survive the tri uh, trip and you die uh, and they absorb all of the energy, I guess. Um, but there's a failure in that. Amy and Rory got taken more than once. More than once. So, yeah. Rory got took by the cherubs. So, I guess they're smaller. So, they don't have that much energy in some ways. So, maybe they couldn't do it a second time to kill him off. But he definitely got took another time when he was in the statue. But that's another episode. That I just noticed there's a, kind of a flaw in that. But anyway, new knowledge on the angels now. They can take you and then they take you again. You're dead. You don't often survive transform. That was interesting. And um, we've also got the doctor in this, obviously solving the cliffhanger within the TARDIS, basically kicking the, the, the angel out. Very creepy, very cool, very aspect. Yaz and Dan's chemistry doing their solo things was quite nice. They had something to do. They were trying to find the girl, Peggy. Everyone was looking for the girl. The pet, her parents got taken by the angel. Then there's like a little drift thing where uh, from a different time period and a different time period and they can't really cross, um, but they can see each other. So they had that going on. It's the angels trying to close in on this town, uh, trying to get um, the woman, the woman that's got an angel in her head. Now there's Easter eggs to this, which a casual fan wouldn't know because it didn't really get explained. The rubbing in the eye, the sand coming out. The stone stuff. That's a reference to series five. There were so many lovely little references that worked so well. And the, the, the normal angel knowledge worked. The music in this was quite nice. The attack of the angels in the house. And of course, the Pirates of the Caribbean dude, the professor, whatever you want to call him. I liked him. I, he didn't get on my nerves, which was good. Um, there was m not that many characters in this episode, which I thought worked to its advantage. Uh, the angels were used quite well. They managed to take Dan and Yaz, showing that they, they can even be took. And then they're like, oh, how are we going to get back? The Doctor, hopefully, you know. <laughs> the Doctor in this, she's trying to do her best. She made things worse with one of the angels coming Fire Angel. Uh, very cool, from the image of the angel becomes an angel. Lovely stuff. I thought that was kind of tied in quite well. We also have, obviously, the uh, there's an uh, angel in there, and they're on the run. The Division Angels are working for them. Now, I don't know. I don't like the Angels working for the Division. I'm not... I don't know. I don't know, you know. I I get other species can work for the Division. We've learnt that. We learnt that last week with, you know... Dog one. Dog guy. Um, Dan's dog basically works for the Division. So there's other creatures and other aspects that can work for the Division. So why not the Weeping Angels? But I kind of... I don't know. The angels wanted the doctor more than anything, but 
if they've gonna get, they've got the doctor, why why does she get turned into an angel? Why is that a thing? But we'll have to wait next week for that. The transformation for that was quite. At first, I watched it a second time. I thought it was quite cool. Watching it with a casual fan, I kind of felt a bit cheesed and a bit cringe, and I was like, um. But I don't know. Maybe that's because I'm not normally. I'm used to watching it on my own, so I can just get everything and stuff. But when watching it with someone else, I don't know. It kind of drifted me out a bit. I was a bit like embarrassed, cheesed a bit about it. I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel on this topic. I don't know at all. But I'm interested to see where we go next week. Um, hopefully it's not a Doctor Light episode because I don't want a Doctor Light episode. I don't really like them that much. Blink was a brilliant one for that. We also had um, Martha running around the earth and stuff like that. We've had them and they've worked. But I just prefer when we just get a casual Doctor Who episode. We got the woman in this trying to bring uh, law people in and passenger take them forms and stuff like that. And we had Belle, of course, possibly the doctor's parents, possibly the doctor's mom in this episode. Um, that's nice. We got an in-between a dude that kind of got a waste of character because he didn't have much to do. But it was quite nice to have him in it. So fair enough. We've shown yet again what this universe has done. And we're talking about universe, it's closing in and closing in. And we've seen that um later on in the episodes and stuff so that worked um what else what else what else oh yes they've never done this but like well they have once or twice but th there was an end credit scene of search the vortex got a glitch and then we got to see bell send a message to vinda and he's like yes he's got hope and then he needs to find out the coordinates and it cuts off so he's gonna have to try and find bell and bell is heading towards i believe where the doctor is so we've got that going on she says she worked in the they worked in the academy. Hmm. Academy, hey. Like I said, possibly Doctor's parents. Um not Time Lord, but I think I I you know, I kinda get that vibe. I do. I don't do. If it's not, it's not. But that's my honest opinion on that idea. Um the story. What do I give out of ten? I'm gonna give this story out of ten a an eight. I'm giving it an 8. It's it's not as good as the Sontaran episode. I don't think it's as good as the first episode. But it's better than last week's, I think. And that's an improvement, which we, we will work on. Uh, hopefully, episode 5 and 6 will wrap this series up really well. Of course, the teasing with the Division. We really don't know what they are still. Um, but they obviously hunt down people. Uh, the Doctor's past is yet to be revealed, but it will, hopefully. And we're hopefully seeing more Joe Martin. Talk about Joe Martin. I met her at Wales. I met her at London Comic Con, sorry. I went to Wales and London Comic Con in the weekend. That video is coming out Thursday, so stick around for that. I secretly recorded me talking to them. So I've talked to Sasha, I've talked to Joe Martin, and I've talked to Billy Piper. And I recorded it. So, yeah. I can't wait to, for you guys to see that. That'll be cool. So, yeah, stick around for that. Subscribe, because we're, we're trying to get 600 subscribers. 600, guys. We are just under 20 subscribers away join a journey of course i will see you guys for my review on time next time for episode five and my london and wales comic-con video see you guys next time and i hope you have a good day bye